What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey, who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, Perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. so quickly we came here to hide more friends just means more trouble you're being paranoid you need to lay off that stuff it's changing you oh lay off it's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit oh hey whippersnapper didn't see you there your friends are downstairs kiddo get out there and play (laughs) (laughs) yeah Did you see how he moved that letter and used it to climb up? He took the most powerful king 
in all the realms. Holy fuck, he's amazing. I thought the king was going to do a sweet jump, but then he just did that. You're dead. Bard, what happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish. Unhand him, you heathens! Release the bard or you'll have the king to deal with. The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right. And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> the wizard is gone. My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That... That sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins, there's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now and you guys are dorks. Hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. Maybe we should go to Raisins and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito, away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Woo! Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on... Fast pass to get there... Excuse me. Super Craig, Super Craig, this is Coon. Do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, great. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the Coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so fuck off, okay? Ugh. All right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. Well, that took long enough. Stephanasy device active. <laughs> You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are Brutalist. you? Brutalist. A 
brutal it, like the thing, or a really pissed off Batman. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them, so for the first time you called upon your super strength powers. As a super strong brutalist hero, you cracked your knuckles and prepared to brawl. You met the intruders' mocking words with a swift, brutal bash. Knocked backwards, the intruder's head spun. Damn, what are you, some kind of superhero? Weakly, he retaliated. You had him on the ropes, but then two more ne'er-do-wells entered the fray from behind. So you turned around to face your new foes. You charged yourself into them. Your wrecking ball like inertia sent one intruder tumbling into the other. Ow! I'll take care of the kid, fellow ne'er-do-wells. The first intruder ran into the fray, boxing you in, right where they wanted you. We've got you right where we want you, kid. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, superhero? But it was you who had them, as you executed a powerful blast from your bowels. Fucking disgusting! Oh, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> One of the thugs was so grossed out that it literally finished him off. Nice. As his companions fled, the biggest, ugliest intruder moved in closer. He threw his fist into your body. But with each hit, he only unlocked what lied beneath. Something totally brutal. <laughs> yeah, fucking sweet, man. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow. That's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Instagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. 